Now this is the second in our series about things that we want parents to know our teenagers are doing. We'll be talking to Detective Frank Reyes who is a narcotics detective and has been in that capacity for eight years. He'll be talking to you about the logistics of drugs. And then we'll be talking to Officer Mike Frazier who's a school resource officer and he'll talk to you about trends and things he's seen in the high schools. I'm uh, Detective Frank Reyes. This is my uh, canine partner, Gator. Gator is a narcotic detection dog. He's trained to uh, sniff out illegal controlled substances. Uh, we're going to go inside today and see if there's anything uh, illegal in this building. Come on, Gator. Here we go. Get in here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it fast. Fast. Good work. Ready? See ya. Here. Let's see ya. Up here. Up here. See you here. What's here? Here. Come on back. One over here. Here, what's this? See here? Yeah. Up here, up here, check up. Up here, see here. What do you got? What do you got? Get it out of there. What is it? Looks like a little marijuana in a backpack. Good boy, Gator. Frank, in your eight years of experience, can you tell us about some of these drugs? Uh, the most commonly abused drugs we find in teens is uh, marijuana, uh, methamphetamine, uh, ecstasy, which is a club drug, and alcohol. And alcohol, which is legal to possess, is oftentimes abused by teenagers. Uh, the way marijuana is most commonly used is, is smoke. <clears throat> it's rolled and smoked like a cigarette. Um, it can also be eaten, and, I mean, ingested, such as in a brownie or a cookie. You can make them that way. Uh, ecstasy is taken. Uh, basically, it's in a pill form. Comes in uh, multiple or uh, several different colors and sizes. Uh, usually, one or two pills a teen can t would take. Um, methamphetamine, which is most commonly used in a syringe, it can be snorted and it can be just ingested. Uh, it's oftentimes smoked in a, in a glass pipe. Alcohol obviously is, you know, consumed orally. Uh, things to look for if you think your teen is using or abusing any of these uh, substances are with marijuana, it's, uh, the eyes will become red and droopy. Uh, the smell and the hair and the clothes uh, oftentimes is a smell that's very similar to burnt oregano. You can literally put oregano on a pan, warm it up a little bit. It'll have the same similar smell to marijuana. That's the smell your, your team may have on this person. Um, methamphetamine, um, they become a little fidgety. Um, they get mood swings, um, oftentimes uh, loss of appetite, uh, weight loss can happen, and they get bad acne. Um, they distance themselves from their uh, family and uh, some friends. And basically with a lot of meth uh, abuse, they become paranoid. Ecstasy, basically it, uh, it heightens the sense of sensation, a lot of touch, a lot of sensation to bright lights. Uh, it's similar feelings to alcohol, but obviously it's, uh, you won't have the smell there you would have with alcohol. Um, teens tend to grind their teeth when they're taking ecstasy. Uh, often what you'll find taken with club drugs is GHB. The GHB is often referred to as the date rape drug. Um, it has a bitter taste to it, so um, it is oftentimes slipped into a victim's drink, a sweet drink, which can render them unconscious. Uh, they won't remember a lot of what's going on, and if they are rendered unconscious, they could be assaulted. We just talked about some of the illegal drugs to possess. Uh, some of the legal drugs to possess, prescription drugs such as Xanax, Ritalin, Valium, and Oxycontin, are often found in your homes. Um, you need to know what's in your medicine cabinets and what your children may have access to. You also need to know what your neighbors have in their medicine cabinets if your child is visiting their homes or visiting their children at their homes. Now that you're armed with this information and you suspect your teen is involved in the use or abuse of controlled substances or legal substances, um, talk to your children. If you need assistance with that, feel free to call the Sacramento Police Department or go onto the blog and ask Officer Michelle. Our next expert is Officer Mike Frazier. He's a school resource officer in the Sacramento Police Department. He's going to discuss some trends that he's seeing in schools. Mike, can you tell us about these trends? Well, yeah, Michelle. One ongoing trend that we're seeing is, is still a continued use of marijuana. 
However, the marijuana is different these days. It's not like it was in the 70s and 80s. The uh, THC content is just through the roof. And so you're seeing a change in the students. The, the kids are unable to function in school any longer. Uh, they start to become absent, truant a lot more often than they were before. Uh, major changes in behavior and actually some physical addiction symptoms. Um, they're not using marijuana the same way they used to either. You don't see them rolling it into joints with paper rollers anymore. You tend to see them using it in what they call blunts. A blunt is actually just a uh, hollowed out cigar or the use of a cigar wrapper. And the cigar is then filled with the marijuana and they smoke it. That's kind of a tip to parents if they see that their child suddenly has an interest in cigars or they have loose tobacco in their car or in their pockets. That's a tip to them that the, they might be using those blunts to smoke marijuana. Another dark drug that we see in the high schools uh, that I find particularly disturbing is, is ecstasy. And the reason for that is that the kids don't think there's anything wrong with using it. It's a glamorized drug. Uh, a lot of the rap groups are glamorizing ecstasy. They have an entire movement called the hyphy movement, which is all about using ecstasy and having a good time. Um, in the schools, you commonly hear it referred to as X or E or smackers. Uh, the, the pills come in different colors, so it almost looks like candy. They're small pills. They usually have some sort of an imprint in them. A lot of times it's a cartoon character. Batman is very common. Uh, dolphins. Uh, or symbols for popular cars like Mitsubishi or Mercedes. The drug is actually a combination of drugs. Uh, it has an effect very much like methamphetamines. The kids will take the pills, usually mixed with alcohol, before they go to dances or parties to try to heighten their experience during the parties. One of the problems with ecstasy is it's not just a pure drug, it's a combination of drugs. Usually the main ingredient, which is like amphetamine, called MDMA, is mixed with another drug, either methamphetamine, sometimes it's mixed with caffeine, LSD, or even PCP. You never really know what you're getting when you're taking a uh, ecstasy tablet, so you never know what the effects are going to be. Commonly, ecstasy is sold at schools through the use of cell phones. Uh, cell phone text messages are sent from one person to another, uh, giving the prices, what kind of pills they are. You usually see on a text message, you'll see dolphins, one for $5 or, or four for 20. And that's kind of a hint to you that the, there's some sort of drug sale going on in between the two cell phones. One of the final drugs I see really being a problem in schools is methamphetamine. Uh, it's, considered by most people to be a very hardcore drug. However, kids get into it because they call it speed or crank or crystal. There's a certain uh, amount of glamour with the crystal and uh, it seems to attract teenagers. It's usually smoked, although it can be ingested in other ways. Uh, it's usually purchased in a small Ziploc bag. It usually has a cartoon character or some sort of symbol like the Nike swoosh or you know another symbol like a, like a car emblem similar to the ecstasy has a similar effect to the ecstasy in the, it's used prior to going out to parties to kind of heighten your awareness and make you feel like you're uh, sort of invincible. The best way for a parent to know if their child is involved in drug use is, is to become familiar with their activities. Get to know your kids, talk to your kids, find out who their friends are. If you feel that your child's friends are using drugs, it's most likely that your child is also using drugs with them when they're not around you. Take a look at some really obvious indicators. A lot of the ch children that are using drugs in the school are wearing drug clothing. They'll have cartoon clothing such as Spongebob smoking a joint. The Pillsbury Doughboy is very popular. They've changed the name to the Pillsbury Dope Boy, and he'll be uh, selling rock cocaine. That should be an obvious indicator to parents that your child is involved in drugs. However, often when I talk to parents, I find that the parents are the ones who actually bought that clothing for their children. Take a look at your child's cell phone. If they have uh, photographs of drugs or a cover on their phone that has marijuana leaves or other drugs on it, that should be an indicator to you that they're glamorizing the use of that drug. Look at their text messages. See what's being sent between your child and other children on their phone. You have the right to look at that as a parent and you really should. One last thing that I think is incredibly um, important for parents is to be aware of what your child is doing on the internet. MySpace has become hugely popular. Almost every kid in the school has a MySpace site whether their parents know it or not. Try to find out what your kid's MySpace site is and then go and take a look at it. Most of the indicators on MySpace are very obvious. Kids talk freely about their use of drugs, they have photographs of drugs, and they have photographs of themselves and their friends using drugs on MySpace. It's all public information, you just need to take a look at it. If you have any question about things that are going on in the high school, 
drug trends in the high school or anything that your child may be doing, feel free to meet and talk to your school resource officer. Every high school in Sacramento has a school resource officer assigned that would be willing to talk to you.